Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be working through a method in which we can determine whether or not a system is stable based on the steady state transfer function matrix. And so if we let S equal zero and we determine what our steady state gains are, such as K11, K12, and so on, uh, we are going to be able to make use of something referred to as the Niederlinsky index in order to determine whether or not our system is stable. And it's pretty quick and easy to do this. And uh, the very first step in this process is gonna be calculating the determinant of your steady state transfer function matrix G. And this, in this example that I have here, will simply be equivalent to A times EI minus FH minus B times uh, di minus fg and then plus and c times dh minus eg and so once we have calculated our determinant and i want to make a special note here that this is just a scalar quantity these are just numbers, so this might be something like 5.2, for instance. Um, once we've calculated the determinant, um, the next step here is going to be simply uh, putting in the uh, product of our diagonals. So in this case, uh, these diagonals are just A, E, and I. So we're just going to have the determinant of G whatever that ends up being, divided by A times E times I. And you know that's a scalar, that's also a scalar. And so if this term is less than zero, if it's some kind of negative quantity, if we have a negative determinant or this product ends up being negative, um, you know, we can end up with an unstable system. And so I know this is gonna be a quick little video, and it is a early quick check that you can make before performing a full uh, analysis on a system by creating a relative gain array, for instance, um, which should help you save some time uh, should you run into something like this on a test. So I hope this helps and let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.